Today we're gonna be hanging out in the Terramore neighborhood in Brentwood, Tennessee. I've been wanting to take you through this neighborhood for a while now. It's got so many great things going for it. It's such a cool neighborhood. It's in such a great location. The lots are fantastic. So there's just so much to explore, so much to talk about in this neighborhood. So today we're gonna to do that. My intention was to be out there physically today, but it's actually really cold outside but I did get lots of video for you, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned to really get the idea of what this neighborhood looks like. It's so pretty, so let's go check it out. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Jennifer Gramling. I'm a real estate agent in the Williamson County, Nashville, and surrounding areas. I just put out content trying to get you more familiar with this area. If you're thinking about moving here or relocating, this is gonna be a great channel for you. So be sure to subscribe and hit the like button if this was helpful to you. And as I mentioned, I am an agent in the area. So if you have any questions at all about moving or relocating, be sure to reach out to me. You can reach me by text, email, you can call, however you wanna get a hold of me, and we'll be sure to get all your questions answered. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at Terramore. This is a fantastic neighborhood. Okay, so one of the really great things about this neighborhood is going to be the location. I'm gonna jump onto the map and show you in just a minute where this is located so that you can kind of have a better idea in your mind of where it is. But I'm just gonna show you just a little bit to start, just to show you what this neighborhood looks like as we drive through here. One of the things that you're gonna notice is just gonna be the really fabulous lots in here. So a lot of the homes in here are gonna be on larger lots. You're gonna find a lot of character in these homes, a lot of all brick homes, and these houses are just gonna be spacious and roomy. And overall, it's just a really aesthetically pleasing neighborhood, as you can kind of see from this. But we're also gonna cover the fact that there are wonderful amenities in here too, wonderful things to take advantage of. So we're gonna cover all of that. Okay, so if we jump over to our map really quick, you'll see right here is gonna be where that Terramore pool is, right kind of in the middle of the neighborhood. And as I zoom out, I can just show you really quickly the schools that you're gonna be zoned for here are gonna be Jordan Elementary. It's gonna be located right here. So you're very close to the elementary school. So look that up if schools are important to you. Your other schools that you're gonna be zoned for are gonna be Sunset Middle, which is gonna be right over here, and Ravenwood High, which is located right here. So again, if schools are important to you, you're just within a short distance, so be sure to look those up. But again, you're gonna be so close to so many things. So one of the things you're close to right here is gonna be this Smith Park. There's miles and miles of legitimate hiking trails going through the hills in this park. There's also recreational fields, there's playgrounds, and there's the historic Ravenwood Mansion that's used for events, photos, all kinds of things. And then there's walking paths that spin off from that. So one of the things that you may not know about Brentwood is that there's just extensive bike paths, walking paths, running paths. Some parts of Tennessee may not have as much of that, but Brentwood has done a really great job being developed for as long as it has been to put a lot of those running and walking paths into place. So a lot of those spider off from this park and you can bike and walk or whatever you wanna do. So if you're into outdoor activity and you wanna be close to a place like this, then in Terramore, you're gonna be very close to Smith Park, which is fantastic. You're also only gonna be about 10 to 12 minutes away from Cool Springs. As you can see right here, we've got some traffic going on as we get into the holiday season, but everything you need is located over here in this Cool Springs shopping area. So really everything that everyone asks about, you've got Home Depot, you've got Costco, you've got Target, Best Buy, Barnes and Noble. You also have the actual mall, which has everything in it as well, but tons of places to eat, movie theaters, Walmart, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, everything is gonna be in this Cool Springs area. So you really are only 10 minutes from there in this neighborhood, which is a great selling point. Everyone says they wanna be 10 minutes from Target, 10 minutes from Trader Joe's. You can do that here in this neighborhood as well. And then that Cool Springs is located right off of I-65. So if you wanted to get into downtown Nashville, it's only gonna take you about 25 minutes or so from Terramore to get into downtown Nashville because you're just really close to this I-65 and easy commute to get into downtown. And then if you wanted to get into downtown Franklin, it's only gonna be about 20 minutes or so at the most, even with a little bit of traffic to get into this downtown Franklin area. So if you're wanting to explore all of the cool things that downtown Franklin has to offer and take advantage of all the charm and shopping and eating and everything down there, it's only gonna take you about 15 to 20 minutes to get down there as well. So this really is a very convenient location as far as where Terramore is located. But I will say right over here off this split log, it's very picturesque. It's very beautiful, very manicured and green. There's a little less congestion on this east side of I-65 as opposed to this west side. So when you get over here, you feel a little bit more where you're getting some of those countryside views, but you're still close enough 
to this I-65 area to have access to everything that you need to have access to. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a drive and let you see the neighborhood for yourself. So one of the great things about this neighborhood, and they do this really well in Middle Tennessee, is to incorporate some different types of housing into the neighborhood. So especially if you have other family members that want to live close that may not have the same needs that you have, there's different opportunities for different types of housing in here. So you are going to have some townhomes, which even the townhomes in here are very spacious. So they're somewhere in the 2,400 to 2,500 square foot range. So they're very large, very nice townhomes with attached garages and overlooking open space and things. So very, very pretty. And those townhomes are all going to be three and four bedroom townhomes with three to three and a half baths. So really spacious, very, very nice townhomes. And again, just tucked away over near this green space. And so this is a great opportunity if you want less maintenance, if you want not all the yard to take care of, but you really love this area, then these are gonna be really great for that. Now these townhomes, they don't come up for sale very often. As a matter of fact, one hasn't sold in here since September of 2021. So people do hold on to these, they really love them. But that one did sell for 600,000 back in 2021. So you can expect to pay well over that at this point with the market being as it has been. But that just gives you an idea of what these homes kind of sell for. Now along those same lines, if you really like a home that has a little bit less maintenance, but you want a single family home, there are some great options in here. These are gonna be the homes with a little bit smaller lots. They're gonna have rear load carriage garages, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of about 3,500 to 45, 4,600 square feet. These homes, again, have a lot of character, well thought out, well planned, but just gonna be a little less maintenance and not gonna have the gigantic yards that some of these other properties that we're gonna see in a minute have. So as we drive through here, you can see the fronts of these, how beautiful they are, how much character they have, and inside it's going to be the same. There's a great attention to detail, a lot of wonderful features. And this, somewhat similar to like a West Haven type of feel, you're gonna have that front porch community feeling and just feels very Americana in here to me. Now in this part of the neighborhood, you can probably expect to pay for one of these single family homes somewhere around 1.1, 1.2 million, all the way up to maybe 1.5, 1.6 just depending on the square footage, the features, how updated it is, and all those sorts of things. This neighborhood has been being built since 2007, so you may find some homes in here that need updating, others that have been updated, and some on the newer side that are still great as they are, so it will just depend, obviously, on a lot of those factors. And then you're gonna find the single family homes that are gonna be on much larger lots, which I do have a lot of clients who are looking for that as well. So on these larger lots, you can expect to be on anywhere from a half an acre to an acre. So you are going to get a lot of space. What you'll notice is the space between the homes is going to be very roomy, very nice, and then you're gonna have a lot of space out front and out back. So if you're wanting to put in that pool or you just want room for the kids or the pets or whoever to run around. And just to have that extra privacy that having that larger lot provides, you can find that in this neighborhood as well. So again, as we drive through, you can just take a look at these and really just see for yourself how roomy and nice these lots really are. And just the charm and the construction of the homes. As I mentioned, a lot of all brick homes, a lot of character in here. And now the size of these homes, you can expect them to be somewhere from around 4,500 square feet all the way up to 7,000 square feet. So you can get some really big homes in here, a lot of space to spread out and four to six bedrooms or so with as many baths. So if you're looking for more space in your home, you can also find that here. And then as far as the price goes on these, on one of these homes, you're probably gonna be looking at spending about 1.6 million to 2 million plus. Again, all depending on all those factors, lot, size. Some of these homes have really beautiful pools and all sorts of things like that. So once you start taking all those things into consideration, you'll see those prices start to rise with the more upgrades and amenities and all those sorts of things. And speaking of amenities, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So one of the things that Terramore really does well is going to be its amenities. There's so much to take advantage of. So if you are in one of the townhomes, if you are in one of the homes, that has that smaller lot with the carriage low garage, you're still gonna have a nice yard there, but it's not gonna be as big. You're probably not gonna wanna put in that pool. And some people, let's face it, just don't want the hassle of a pool in their own yard. But the great thing is that you can take advantage of all that the HOA has to offer. So let's take a look. They have some really beautiful, incredible amenities in here with a fantastic clubhouse. So let's take a look. So I did a little walking around so you could kind of get a live view 
of what this clubhouse area looks like. You can see there's acres of green space. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's playgrounds. The clubhouse pool really is resort style with a water slide and you've got tennis courts for those of you that like to play tennis. And then you've got this beautiful clubhouse that you can rent out. You can use it for events or anything that you wanna use it for. And it's so, so picturesque and pretty here. So it's just really a beautiful setting for any events that you wanna have. And there is a workout room as well, which is really hard to come by. In a lot of these neighborhoods, a lot of these HOAs don't offer that. So there is a workout room conveniently here in your own neighborhood for working out. If you don't wanna to get to the gym or to the club, you can just come here and work out, which is really, really convenient and nice. Now it's a little hard to get an idea. It's a little bit cold out and the pool is closed. So I can't exactly get the view that I want to, but let's refer to some listings that are currently out there. So if we wanna jump over to a current active listing, just so that you can see when it was sunny and it was pretty, what these amenities look like, you can see that you've got this water slide going into this beautiful pool with lap lanes, your tennis courts, playgrounds, and you can just see how picturesque and beautiful this neighborhood is. Okay, and if we wanna jump over to the MLS just to give you an idea of what's out there really quickly. So you've got a range of homes in there right now. So you've got this one here priced at 1.15. This is gonna be one of those homes with the carriage load garage, 3,500 square feet priced at 115. And kind of going up from there again, this home here on Wexcroft is going to be another one of those with those rear load garages, four beds, five baths, almost 4,000 square feet priced at 145. And then getting into these larger homes on these larger lots priced at 1795. This home's gonna be on over a half an acre and the home is 4,500 square feet. So you're gonna get a lot of space on this home and on this lot. This home is gonna be just shy of an acre six beds, five baths, 6,000 square feet, price under 2 million. So actually it's gonna be a pretty good price on this house. I mean, you're getting a lot of house for your money here on a really nice size lot. And then this is gonna be the last house listed here at almost 2.2. This house is gonna be 5327 square feet. It's gonna be on over a half an acre. What makes this house really special though is gonna be some of those outdoor amenities. Some of the work that people have put into their outdoor spaces is really incredible and becomes an outdoor oasis. So that's where some of this price tag is coming from. You know, many people don't know, but putting in a pool in Tennessee, especially in middle Tennessee can be very expensive with the price of just having to blast through all of the rock and all of the things it takes to put in that pool. So not only having a pool already in ground, already installed, but a pool that looks like that one really does add so much value to your home. You can't just go put a pool like that in for 50 or $60,000 it's gonna cost you considerably more than that. So that really does add a lot of value to the home, especially for people who are wanting that pool and wanting that outdoor space. Okay, so that gives you a good idea of Terramore in Brentwood. It's a beautiful community with a lot of different options for different home types. I do know a lot of people who live in this neighborhood and love it. There are so many advantages to living in Terramore. So if you have any questions at all about Terramore or any other neighborhoods in the Nashville area, be sure to reach out to me. I'd be happy to answer any and all of your questions again all my contact information is in the comments. And there's also a Calendly link in there if you wanna book a time to speak directly with me and get all of your questions answered about moving or relocating, feel free to click that link and book a time to talk directly with me and we can get all of your moving questions answered and get you on your way to relocating. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and be sure to stay tuned. We have a lot more content coming out, especially in the new year. We're gonna get to a lot more neighborhoods, home tours, and a lot of other fun things coming. So be sure to stay tuned. Thanks so much and I'll see you on the next video.